in thy right preacher, in thy right prophetess. He said, put on the whole armor on God that you may be able to stand. Someone say stand against the wiles of the devil because he wrestled not against flesh and blood but against principalities and against powers their demon spirits that's in the atmosphere but guess what God got some angels too hallelujah he got goodness and he got mercy and got rights that will follow you all the days of your life because the devil fights the mind that's why we must have the helmet of salvation because the devil attacks the mind. He puts depression thoughts in the mind. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are folk who committed suicide because they heard a voice tell them to kill themselves. But God would never tell you to kill yourself. God would say to love yourself because he said love thy neighbor as thyself. How can you love your neighbor if you don't first love yourself? When you love God, he can rid depression and bring in rest. He said, I give you a peace of mind. You don't got to smoke no weed. God is all you need. <laughs> can I say that again, preacher? We don't got to smoke no weed. <laughs> and God is all we need. Ain't that right? Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for the people of God. I thank God for the man of God. I thank God for the woman of God. Y'all brought more power. Repeat these words after me. So this is the hour for God's power. And God's power will never go sour. Oh, high in the right. God, God said my word is going to live forever. He said heaven and earth will pass away. But my word is going to live forever. The money will pass away. But God's word will never pass away. A house can break down. But God's word cannot break down. They folk in Hollywood who made a pact with the devil. Saw the contract with the devil. Doing blood sacrifices. And that's how they got their fame and fortune, right? The devil can bless a person too if they sell their soul to Satan. But your money cannot buy you out of hell. Because when the rich man died, his money cannot buy him out of hell. Your money cannot buy you into heaven. But don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong being rich because God made Solomon rich. But it was God who made him rich. But don't put riches above God. Don't put money above God. Let God be your honey and not money. Come on, somebody. Because the Bible said in 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 9, or verse 10, rather, that the love of money is the root of all evil. It didn't say money is evil, because God understands we need money to pay the rent and the bills. But don't worship it. Too many preachers are worshiping money. Even in the church, mega preachers are worshiping money. But don't care nothing about your soul. All they want is your wallets and your pocketbook. Talking about sending me two thousand dollars in the mail, huh? but ain't nobody getting saved. Yet folk getting rich for not getting saved. Huh? But Jesus said in Mark chapter eight, verse thirty-six, "What promise a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? But when you seek God, He'll bless you. When you seek God, He'll provide for you. He's Jehovah Jireh. Someone say Jehovah Jireh. He's Jehovah Nisi, the God I provider." I'm not making no pacts with the devil. That's right. I'm not making no pacts with Satan. That's right. Because you can have all that money and still be poor in spirit. That's right. Look what Jesus said. You know the word. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's pretty deep. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit. Notice he didn't say poor in life. That's right. That means a person can be rich, but still be poor in spirit because they're not happy. They got no joy. Ain't that right, preachers? Yes, yes. They got no joy. They got no peace. How many times have we seen Hollywood stars who have taken drug overdoses and they got more money than we do? Exactly. Because they don't have Jesus. Yes. So when Jesus come on the inside, he fills the gap. Right. When Jesus Christ come on the inside, there's no room for depression. Depression got to go. The devil may try to bring depression, but God will give you power to tell depression, I'm too blessed to be stressed, too anointed to be disappointed. Oh, go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. He gave you power over the devil. And Jesus said in the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 8, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive what? Power. You got the power. 
You don't got to go to find a preacher like me to lay hands on you. You can lay hands on yourself. <laughs> Ain't that right? Ain't that right? You can lay hands on yourself. You don't got to be a preacher to be used by God. 